All right, welcome everybody. So today I wanna to show you how to add the hole uh, in the lid to your teapot. So the first thing is you wanna figure out what size you want. Now, generally I do a circle, so I just use this, make sure it's lined up neatly with your spout and everything, get it all set up. Then you are going to lightly trace around your circle um, that you put up there. And then you're gonna slowly go and cut through a little bit more each time until you can pull this piece out and just throw it away. Do you spend a little bit of time like, you know, smoothing, and this is your opportunity to get back onto the inside of this to smooth out any join marks on the inside that you have. All that stuff is good. Then the next step is to cut out a flange. Once you've got this all smooth, you're going to cut out a flange. Uh, now for me, I like to use the thickness of the slabbing sticks just from a, uh, you know, a slab. I usually cut it bigger than I think I'm going to need. Now like this one's too small, but usually what I do is I will have a longer piece and the longer piece I will put around the edge until I think it's about at the right spot and then I'll cut through both pieces and I will check it and be like, okay, so if I think this is the right, uh, you know, area, I'll check it and, you know, can I put this in here? No, okay, so then I'm gonna cut it a little bit smaller and I'm gonna check it, does it fit in there? No, right? And what you're looking for is that it fits in with a little bit of wobble, but not a lot of wobble. So like this one right here, I've already slipped and scored and you can see I can set it down in here and it is a nice round shape. It has a little bit of a wobble into it, but it's not like crazy small or anything. So once I have this, then I can add whatever shape I want on top. It doesn't have to be a circle. I could cut this piece into a square. I could cut it into whatever I want. Now, I already added the handle on, and then afterward I was like, why did I do that? Because uh, I just made extra work for myself. Because normally what you're gonna do is you're just gonna set this flange onto a flat slab, and you're just gonna slip and score it while it's still flat. And then once you've slipped and scored it on, then you cut your actual shape so you can make sure that it's really nice and centered. So once you have it uh, slipped and scored on, you've got it shaped, then that's when you're gonna add on the pull. So that's the part of the teapot that you pull to remove the lid. Um, and once you have that on, then I like to add a venting hole uh, for the steam from the tea. So I just take my needle tool and I just pick a spot and it doesn't have to be a giant hole, just a little hole, but just enough to let steam out, to let, um, as you're pouring, to let air in so it doesn't glug, stuff like that. Now, once you have this slipped and scored and everything on the inside of your teapot is nice and smooth, then you're going to pretend I've slipped and scored this. Then you're going to set it in there and you're just going to leave it. Don't take it in and out a whole bunch of times because that'll usually mess up your lid and everything. Um, just trust me on that one. It usually is not great. Plus, you want these to dry together so that they kind of stay in the similar shape. So if one warps a little bit, the other one will warp a little bit. And hopefully there's not too much warping. All right. So that is how you add your flange and your pole and create your lid. So it looks like this, right? And then, like I said, just leave it in your teapot. All right, thanks everybody. Happy making.